Hey there, I'm Julian, and I'm going to show you how to install a store onto your new template if you doesn't already have one. So I'm using the Grace for this. This is a lovely theme, but it doesn't have an online store on it. So I'm just going to show you how to create one and add it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard. And then in here, we're going to go to plugins and add new. And we're going to search for WooCommerce. Now the one you're looking for is this one. It's got uh, over a million active installs. So that's a good one. This is the one that is just fantastic and there's nothing else I'd really recommend except this. So we're gonna install it and activate it. And then, let me see. Here we go. So what it will normally do is it will take you through a walkthrough that just asks you to input your address, input where you are and what kind of currency you're going to use and if you've got a, a specific shipping rate. So fill all that out and then what it's going to do is it's going to pull through some pages for you. And you'll see here we've got cart and it's the designated cart page checkout. It's designated all these just so that um, um, it's it knows where it's sending the information to. So let me see. If we go to products, here's where you can add your products. So I've added a few in already just to kind of speed up this process because you don't want to watch a video of me for half an hour inserting products. So what you do to add some products is just go to add new if you don't already, if you've never used this before. And it's all very self-explanatory. So product name, you can just type in whatever you like, preferably the name of your product, if you can spell it correctly. Um, in here you can put your big description, so I'm going to use my nonsense generator and just copy some nonsense. Um, it will ask you for the price here if it's a virtual or downloadable product. So what happens here is you can see right now it's a simple product that has shipping and everything on it. Click virtual, shipping disappears because you won't need to ship it. Click downloadable and it will ask you to add in your file. So um, I'm just going to go virtual so I don't need to play with shipping. and. 25 pounds. So your short description here, I'm going to grab just another one of these so I can show you where that goes. Add that here and we can add product images and gallery images for if there's more than one product if you want to show off different views of things. So I'm just going to add this. Oh no, I'm in the way. I'm back. <laughs> um, and I don't want a sidebar on my product. I'm just going to have a full width product. So I'm going to publish that. And then I will show you what it all looks like. There we go. Into my pages. And I can view my shop page. Here we go. So this is the standard WooCommerce shop page layout. It's got your, um, your sidebar on the side and it just has your products all here. You can filter them whatever you like. And once you get over a certain amount of products, it will add a new next button down here just so you can go between them. So if I click on a sample product, this is what they lay out like. If you, uh, if you go for the option of a sidebar, your sidebar that you saw there before will be there. If you go full width, it will look like this. It'll have your title, your price, your short description. You can select quantity, add to cart. Um, once you click it, this will come up here. Um, yes, it can zoom in on all the pictures. It will add your longer description here and a place for clients to leave reviews if you would like to activate that. If not, you can deactivate that in your WooCommerce settings. So it will also show the category you add them into down here. So feel free to create your own categories. Do as you wish with that. So I've added them to cart. I then go to my cart. And here, I've added a few more. Here you can, um, you can add your coupon codes and apply your coupons. So you can create them in your WooCommerce settings. You can also change quantities. So I've got seven. I only actually want two of these. So you click that, press update cart. Also your update cart button will be grayed out until you change something. So right there, it's a bit dark. I change that and it activates. So there we go. So my total is 98 pounds. I can go to my checkout and here's where I can add all my information. So it will ask me for everything down here and you'll see at the bottom, it's not got any payment methods connected. That's because I this is just a test store. I'm not going to connect anything, but you can use Stripe. You can use PayPal. Stripe is the one that um, takes all your card details so you can pay with credit cards, debit cards. PayPal is really easy because most people already have it and it's just a click of a button to pay. So I tend to use PayPal just because it's a little bit easier. 
So if you connect them, then it would just be place order. They would either ask me for my card details or load up a PayPal window, fill it out, submit, and my order has been placed. So that's great. So the next thing you're gonna to want to do now that you've added your shop is you're gonna to want to add it to your menu bar. So here, you go over here and go to your theme customizer. And then in here, we're gonna to go to your menus, primary, add item, find my shop. Where's my shop? Oh no, I've lost it. There it is. <laughs> and you can drag it to where you want. So I want it just under here under portfolio. Also, you'll see here that the cart goes in the top banner here. If you want it down here and you're not using this top banner, just go to your secondary menu and you can untick this. It will remove that banner altogether and put your cart next to your contact. So I'm gonna go with that for now and publish. Wait for that to say published. There we go and exit it. So now we have a banner and it's got your shop button in it. So if we go click on that, it will take us, hopefully, directly to the shop. Hey, there we go. So that is how you install a shop on your theme. If you look out for the next video that pops up here, this is how to install a more custom looking shop. So give it a watch and let me know if it all works for you.